Welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Business Talk. This is Roger Chen from uh, University of San Francisco. Welcome CT. Thank you for joining our interview program. So why don't you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, thank you for having me, Roger. Uh, my name is Chi Dong or CT, and I'm co-founder of Engage Rocket. We've been running this company now for just over six years, and we build smart engagement tools for busy leaders. So um, it's AI-powered performance management and em employee engagement analytics. We help companies like Toyota, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, and uh, other companies to build a workplace that encourages their people to want to give their best at work. Um, so we serve mid-market companies globally across more than 20 industries uh, and have analyzed uh, over 10 million uh, employee data points. Discussion topic, how we found product market fit customer segments. After all these kind of a setbacks or challenges or different mistakes or things you try to, you know, so, diff uh, so uh, broadly, how did you fi uh, eventually find your target market or channels, whatever, like a settle down, say, hey, that is our starting point. How do you find that? Um, it's a mix of both designing that for ourselves and also just looking at our customer data. So when we looked at our customer data, we found that uh, after a, almost a year and a half of being in existence, we saw that there were companies that had a very high rate of churn. So they were, they were just onboarding onto our platform and leaving within a year after their subscription expired. Um, but on the other hand, there were companies that kept coming to us, asking us um, to not just lock in the subscription price for a year, but could we potentially do it for three? Um, mm. period. So these were the mid to larger uh, type companies. You know, they're not, I wouldn't say large enterprise. There may be like a couple thousand employees. But these are the ones that started coming to us initially and saying, yeah, we like what they're doing. Um, can we lock it in for two to three years? Um, but then they all started coming to back to us with certain uh, product feature requests almost. Like, mm. can you help us benchmark our organization against, say, the top 10% of organizations within our industry, for example? Mm -hmm. um, can you help us cut the analysis in this way or that way? Um, and so we started realizing that we had optimized uh, ourselves for a different market segment for what was eventually pulling us into. Mm. So, so then, then you know, we had to just keep keep going back to the drawing board and saying, okay, it looks like there's this group of companies that that are willing to buy from us. They take a bit longer to buy, um, mm. so that was one. They have more requirements, mm. but when they do buy, they stay with us for longer. So mm. we had to make a deliberate decision to say, we have this segment of customers, the, the small, medium businesses that were very enthusiastic and very keen to, to buy from us initially, but mm. they, the lifetime value was just not there. They, they didn't stick around long enough um, for it to be worth their while um, in implementing mm. software um, and also not uh, for us because uh, you know after churning in, in one subscription cycle, that's actually really, um, it's really bad for a SaaS business. So, um, yeah, we, it just came to a point where we decided, okay, we have to optimize for one specific segment. We can't serve the whole market. Mm. Uh, and that's okay. And since this is the segment that's pulling us um, into doing business with them, let's, let's go with them instead. Yeah, that's very interesting. So in other words, actually, after your trial, then you look at the data, and uh, try to basically follow the recurring customers or retention, these retained customer, then, you know, that's, that's really great. Thank you for watching.